President Gengob lauded the African Union's progress made in promoting democracy among member states since its formation. However, recent developments in some countries, such as Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Sudan and others, are threatening to reverse these gains made in consolidating democracy across the continent. Currently, five AU member states are under suspension owing to military coups and other unconstitutionalities, which concerns the Namibian head of state. That we are now dealing with development, no freedom per se. There are still some ports that are free. So AU, therefore, is talking about development that is the second phase of the struggle. First phase was to get the extraordinary personalities, uh, African leaders who told us to wake up, we are oppressed, fight for your freedom. Those first presidents that I regard all of them from coming, even up to this part, as long as you were first president, like the first wave of African leaders. Yes, you can wave, we're a little bit caught up in the Cold War situation, one body state, uh, military coups, but it does not all bad. Some countries make progress under one body state, but it was still a democratic situation as they call it today. Now, third wave, I think we come through what we call democratic process. You believe in elected government, government, governance, governments. Yes, there are reversals in some parts of Africa. There are coups. But when that occurs, who takes the decision? Americans, British? It's Africans. It's you who will kick them out. So that's why I'm saying we believe now in a process where we go through constitutional means. We must obey that. And if people came through coups and they're given time limit to a transition period, as they always ask for, please don't extend it. Let's keep that so that we can go back to democratic governance again. President Gangop, who is an ardent advocate for leaders to stick to set term limits in office, cautions fellow leaders to respect the will of the sovereign. So when you know your contract yes, and you know it's ending, prepare. Yes. Don't overstay and now cry to stay on. Yes. Uh, and you should know. It's, it's, the, 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 the thing that I'm also emphasizing is it shouldn't be based on personality. Should be the processes, systems, and institutions. When those things are there, anybody can come in, but system will go on. Process will be there, and country will have peace. And think of development, because there's a lot of problems. In Namibia, we have unemployment issues, young people who got degrees, we, we succeeded to set up universities and train them. That success is a problem now, no jobs. And then also the Poverty, they come from apartheid background, opposition party and the press wouldn't like us to talk about the history. They say as if we are living in the past. You have to know where you are, where you are today, where you are going. We're talking about green hydrogen. That's not living in the past. We also discovered oil, apparently oil, you are ending oil. So future is bright. But you must tell people where we were. How we are, where we are now, what we are do tomorrow, where what we are going to get. The AU Commission chairperson is in Namibia for a high-level retreat with mediators, mediation experts, and practitioners from the regional economic communities, including SADC, ECOWAS, and the EAC. Le président, nous sommes venus uh, cette fois-ci pour organiser une retraite. This time we have come here to organize the retreat with our partners such as the UN. It is kind of an introspection that we are making of ourselves and of the challenges we are facing and to ensure international relations. We have chosen Vintuk in full awareness, Mr. President, because of the characteristics of democracy and principles in Namibia. You are the chairman of Peace and Security Organ of SADC. In fact, the last meeting I had with the two former presidents of Namibia, which itself is a living testimony of democratic principles that people abide by the rules. This is what we want to see in other countries too, that they go by the choice of the people. Mr. President, I'm seeking your advice, what should I tell the people? This is a chance for us to be able to tell them what is needed to move forward. The retreat, which starts on Saturday, is expected to reflect on ongoing AU-led mediation and dialogue processes. Recommendations from the retreat 
are further envisioned to achieve sustainable peace in Africa.